thing for Adam today because he thought this would be more my area of expertise. So today we're going to be reviewing the Black Ridge um, air spray gun with a 10 litre capacity paint tank. So this is the packaging that's come in just here. Um, there's the item number down there if anyone was interested. So if you wanted to pick it up in store you could just give them that item number down there and they'll they'll sort you out, order it in or whatnot. This is the uh, tank right here with the dial. Comes with a little handle on the top too that you just screw in right in the middle there. You can also rest the gun on it as well. Um, these here is how you hold the top of the tank on. You just pour your paint inside the tank and then screw these down and that holds it down, keeps it under pressure. Um, this is everything that's come with the kit as well. So it comes with uh, two tools for tightening up all the fittings and things like that. Um, a brush for cleaning the tank, and cleaning all the, the fittings and things like that. Uh, the spray gun itself which is a fairly good quality spray, spray gun. Uh, Black Ridge is a very good brand for all air compressors and whatnot, things like that. Air fittings, um, spray guns, um, gravity fed spray guns. And this bad boy here, which is what we're gonna be playing with today. Um, one thing it didn't supply was our plumbing tape for all the fittings. We had to go and get some of our, our own to um, wrap around all of the threads and stuff for the fittings but other than that yeah, it comes with everything that we've needed so far uh, it came with the two hoses as well included in the kit so the orange one you plumb from the bottom of the handle going up into the side of this um, dial right here and then the black one is for the um, is where the actual paint comes out of so the paint comes out of a stem inside the top of the lid, out this 90 degree bend through this black pipe and feeds it right up into the gun. Um, and with the gun as well, you could also angle it to the side for spraying up and down, vertical or horizontal, whichever tickles your fancy. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the gun. Uh, one more thing with the air gun, it can be used with um, normal house projects, painting doors is what we're going to be doing today. Um, painting the exterior of houses is what we're also going to be using it for, but it's also suitable for automotive use and anything like that. Painting metal, um, rocker covers, uh, car panels, all sorts of things like that. But that's not what we're going to be using it for. We're going to be painting some doors today. So as you can see, it did a pretty decent job there. Um, we're not painters by any means, so I'm sure you'll all be able to tell us that we're doing it wrong or there's a better way of doing it. The main thing that we couldn't really figure out how to do was um, the instructions couldn't, like, wouldn't tell you how to adjust like how much paint was coming out compared to like the air pressure, but I'm sure we'll figure it out at some stage. Um, that was the only really thing that we had trouble with other than that it's a pretty pretty decent bit of gear I was pretty impressed with it as I said you could use it on both automotive stuff and it seems to be doing woodwork just as good so anything that tickles your fancy you can use it for really so that's all we've really got today thanks